Hey, how's it going, guys? This is the Alpha Lead here with a knockout breakdown for you on the Ardonis Stevenson versus Chad Dawson fight from back in June. Uh, if you didn't get the chance, check out the press conference leading up to this fight. These two guys went at it. They were talking a lot of trash to each other. I will put a link somewhere where you guys can check it out because it is hilarious. It's well worth it. It'll get you hyped for the fight itself. Uh, Chad Dawson definitely did a lot of shit talking. Said he had to basically Google Stevenson to even find out who he was because he didn't know who he was fighting. Um, you know, it's a lot of a lot of trash talk going back and forth, but it is entertaining. So anyway, um, I'm just going to break down the actual knockout. This fight ended in round one pretty quickly. Uh, hopefully you guys can use uh, something here. Maybe uh, any fighters out there can use something to add to your toolbox that, that you can get out of this knockout. So anyway, let's get into the actual uh, full clip here. It's not just nerves, but it's also... The caliber of fighter that Dawson is. Dawson has better legs You're going to see a jab and a couple feints from Stevenson in yellow there. And then uh, Dawson's going to take it right there. Boom, he's down. And he is even lucky to get up, but you can see he's struggling. He is not there. He's starting to moonwalk. He is. And the ref sees it. He's like, nah, that's enough. Stops it. I think it was a good stoppage. I mean, he would have just gotten clobbered again by Stevenson. He was just going to come after him. And, Dawson would have just gotten laid out. Um, so I, I think it was definitely a good stoppage. You can see Stevenson's losing, losing his mind. Um, corners losing their minds. You'll see some trash talking going on now because because of all the hype leading up to it and all the trash talking going on between the two groups leading up to it. But uh, amazing, amazing knockout. You can see Fitty, he's, he's shocked. He didn't know what happened. But uh, yeah, it was awesome. Stevenson's been doing well since. But anyway, onto the details. So, take a look at Stevenson's quickness and his feints. Um, first, as far as the quickness goes, just you know, real quickly notice how he's moving very sharply, very quick. Little little stutter steps, little feints. He's trying to get reaction out of Dawson. He doesn't, so he knocks him out. Now, as far as these feints go, you'll see he's going to throw a jab here. Dawson barely moves out of the way. I mean, he was late as hell getting out of the way of that. He's lucky he didn't get tagged. But here's the feints. One, two, three, and then the jab, and then the cross. You'll see that Dawson doesn't react to any of those three feints. So let's look at the feints again. Obviously, again here, barely misses the jab, but the three feints. Stevenson sees that he is not reacting. One, he doesn't react. Two, he doesn't react. Three, he doesn't react. So I'm going to throw this setup jab, and I'm going to hit you with the cross. And he lays him out. Now look at Stevenson's uh, step and pivot here. So this is the actual knockout punch. When we step, you're trying to get close. You're trying to close the distance. So when you jab, you step every time. And that closes the distance for you. It allows you to uh, close that gap, hit him with a jab, but then also getting close enough where you can hit him with another punch. Your, your cross, your hook, whatever it is, your uppercut. Um, so when he throws the, the cross, he's going to pivot on that back foot. And that is where your power is. It's in your feet. So. Take a look at the jab for or the step in. So he steps in. See, I closed the distance there. Let's look at it again. But this time, focus on the pivot. And you'll see that back foot is going to pivot on his toes. So he steps in and then pivot. That is where your power is. Um, all right, so now as far as uh, Dawson goes, just taking a look at him. It's kind of a review here because you can see his the overall theme for Dawson was he just wasn't reacting. His hands were low. Uh, which is something I want to call out right at the uh, point of the knockout, but he's just not reacting to anything. Um, I mean, he's moving a little bit, but not enough. Not at the level that that Stevenson's moving. You know, Stevenson throws his quick jab. Look how late Dawson was getting to the uh, slip into the left there, and then uh, you'll see the three feints, and Dawson's just slightly moving his head a little bit, but not in reaction to the feints. He's just kind of bobbing around. Stevenson sees it now. Right here is where he lo lowered his hands. Look where his hands are. Boom. And he was trying to throw a hook, which is why he lowered his hands. When you throw a hook, you need to throw it from the guard. Your hands should be high when you're in the guard. And you throw your hook from, from the guard. You shouldn't be dropping your hands down to, to your waistline. So anyway, hopefully there was something here that could help somebody somewhere out there. Uh, until next time, hopefully I'll, I'll have some new stuff coming out very soon. Thanks for uh, listening. See ya.